it's Alex, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my chocolate fudge brownie cheesecake. So this was actually the first cheesecake I ever did for Tasty. So I guess you could say it was the cheesecake that started it all. <laughs> I really love cheesecake. <laughs> So when I was developing this recipe, what I was really looking for was some really beautiful layers. And the flavor is pretty easy. I mean, what's better than chocolate fudge brownie and cheesecake? So the bottom of this three layer cheesecake is the brownie, arguably the best layer. <laughs> I chose to make the brownie layer out of box brownie mix, but feel free to make your own brownie recipe if you choose to, just makes it a little easier. So the second layer is the cheesecake, of course. I chose to do a classic baked cheesecake recipe, so we're gonna have to double bake this cheesecake. Because you have to bake this cheesecake twice, a lot of people were worried that the brownie layer would actually burn or get too hard by the time the whole cheesecake is done baking, but don't worry. The cheesecake layer creates a sort of a barrier and keeps your brownie really fudgy and moist. And if you really wanted to, you could swap out the cheesecake layer for a no-bake cheesecake and just pop it in the fridge after your brownie is done baking. But I will always prefer a baked cheesecake to a no-bake cheesecake. So a springform pan is really useful because the sides release. So it's great for like a softer cake, like a cheesecake, when you don't want to mess up the sides and stuff. So you just release, am I describing this well? You just, okay. You just open the clip on the side and lift it up and you're ready to go. In case your cheesecake cracks a little bit on the top, don't worry, we're gonna cover it in our third layer, which is the beautiful chocolate ganache. Also very delicious. So chocolate ganache sounds scary to make, but it's super, super easy, and it's delicious and very beautiful. All you have to do is melt down your chocolate with hot, heavy cream and mix it until it creates a beautiful, silky mixture. Once all the chocolate is melted, you're ready to go. This moment where I drizzled the chocolate ganache over the cheesecake is one of my proudest tasty moments. So the easiest way to do this glaze is to move the cake onto a rack on a baking sheet. So when you pour over the chocolate ganache, it runs off into the pan instead of all over your table. Out of all of the videos I've made, I still go back to this shot because it's so beautiful, just the way the chocolate drips over the cheesecake. <laughs> And if you want to, since nothing should go to waste, you can take the rack off and pour back any of the like residual chocolate ganache into a bowl, pop it in the fridge, eat it <laughs> later. The chocolate ganache creates a beautiful, silky, shiny layer on the outside that will be sure to impress anybody you're trying to impress. <laughs> this is a great date recipe, I have to say. Very rich and indulgent. Very sexy. 